soldiers return from overseas and are faced with a different kind of battle, the struggle to reassimilate into life at home. RNN's Carolyn Rowe joins me now with a new program that helps these troops. Well, that's right, Karen. They've been to war and back and share a bond that can only be understood by those that have served. Now veterans of wars past and present are getting together in Rockland County to make the transition of troops returning today a little easier. But the last person I thought would need help was me. So it wasn't actually until a year later, um, you know, like, you know, um, you know, like experience of the death of one of my best friends over there, that it really like hit me like, wow, I, I need help. Major Joe DeGracie, who served two tours in Afghanistan, says being deployed is not easy on anyone, especially with a wife and two young sons worrying about him at home. But the worrying doesn't simply stop when soldiers return from overseas. He says many times they find themselves facing a whole new set of challenges, often feeling like they're still supposed to be heroic, go get em warriors, some forgetting they're only human. But you still have these vulnerabilities from, based on the traumatic experience you've been through and seen. And, so then you're trying to readjust to, you know, your regular, regular life back here in the States, and it's kind of, it becomes hard with family members interacting with others, and even everyone's supportive, it's, everyone doesn't understand and uh, really can't acknowledge, you know, what you've been through. So it's kind of, even though you're surrounded by loving people, it's still, there's, there's a certain essence of, of being alone. In her. Joe says he went to six months of counseling and was able to begin healing. And I was able to talk about the things I haven't talked about, and was able to be accepted at a level that others couldn't, even though they, they wanted to. Now Joe says he's ready to help others, one of many volunteering to counsel fellow soldiers when they return home, program called Vets for Vets. Counseling happens right here in New City and is free for veterans and their families. The idea is to help those that are reluctant to seek out government mental health services and those that may be having trouble getting the help they need from the VA. To be understood, to be able to tell their story, to be able to cry, to be able to live with what they've done for all of us. Whether you call it shell shock, battle fatigue, or post-traumatic stress, Stan Hyman, a Vietnam veteran, says the hidden battle scars of war are all the same and something only a fellow veteran can understand. Unless you've been there, you can kind of think about it, but you don't know viscerally. You don't know in your gut. You don't know what it's like to go through that experience. Many Vietnam veterans like Stan giving of their time to try and make the mission a little easier for the next generation of those serving their country. What I also understand is, you know, when I got out of the service, I didn't want anything to do with the VA or anything. I didn't get treated. To, I got back from Vietnam in 69. Um, I didn't get, I was left untreated until 93. I, I didn't waltz into the VA until 93. That's all those years, uh, which made it really, really bad and it, uh, eventually became really bad. It is tough to adjust to civilian life. When I came home, there was like a, there was no parades, there was nobody at the airport shaking my hand, and like today, when I'm so happy that it's happening today because I would never want to see another veteran go through what Vietnam vets had to go through, where we got spat out uh, or cursed at, and I think today's veterans deserve whatever uh, they have coming, and like like I said, the, the VA. Uh, is a very positive thing. They, they're helping. And say while they're happy these days, the public seems to be separating the war and the warrior. Parades don't make a soldier's struggles simply go away. The things that you see and experience, a pat on the back doesn't make it go away. And it's really important to share that. The damage, there's damage that's done to everyone. Damage the group is hoping to slowly diminish by being there so veterans can share with someone who has walked in their shoes. Sometimes when people talk about it, it's like you can't look into their eyes and see that they understand. But when you're in a, you know, a group of veterans, you, you can just see that they understand that they are there with you. And it's very empowering um, and you feel accepted when you know you can talk about your experience with a veteran because they understand. It's like you don't even need words. You can just just to share in the same same atmosphere, same environment. Now, Vets for Vets is run by VCS Incorporated in Rockland County. They say again the program is free for vets and is of course confidential.
Karen? So, Carolyn, why would a soldier go to this program instead of going to the VA? There's really not a lot of paperwork in, involved with this program. Basically, they're encouraging soldiers to just come in, talk to some veterans, get some help, and then move on. There's not a big paper trail involved. And it's a very new program. How's everything progressing? They are running into some trouble actually finding these veterans that may need assistance. Um, one of the biggest problems is not that the veterans aren't out there, but that there's no way to track them. It's not. It's classified information, so they can't specifically reach out to these veterans. They rely on publicity and, and the media to get the message out there. And is this just about helping the veteran? No. They actually have uh, programs they're trying to encourage to help the families as well. Um, they have counselors for the families and they're trying to train the families to recognize symptoms in the veterans. And of course there's more information on the programs on rnntv.com. All right. Thank you so much, Carolyn.